So the next thing we need to learn about this thing is um, a little bit of the interface, okay? Just kind of to see where you can make lines, where you can make surfaces, and where you can make solids, okay? There are three different things. If you look up here, the file is the same like in any other program, file. You open a new file, you open an existing file, you save it, you save it with another name, right? We're all familiar with this kind of stuff, right? A little bit here. If you want to see what the properties of that file is, if you want to um, insert a picture, so on and so forth. We'll cover a little bit of this. Or you want to exit. Uh, edit, if you want to edit something, change its shape, change whatever, right? And view, camera views, these kind of views. We'll manipulate those later. What you'll be using mostly is the curve, surface and solid okay these three up here are probably most of the drawing elements that you will be using um, and I'll show you what each of these mean um, you can go to a curve and say line it, it took me a while to remember that Rhino when Rhino says a curve it means a line. <laughs> Even if it's a straight line, it calls it a curve. Which is kind of weird, right? It's not curving. Why is it called a line? But just remember that it's single line, right? When you're drawing, this is top view. I'm looking from the top, right? And this is perspective. Can you see that it's kind of in perspective? Front view, right view. We'll talk about those a little bit later. So I just drew a line right here. I highlight it and highlights it in the, all the views. If I want to draw a surface, I'll draw maybe a plain surface with corner to corner. Let's see how this works. I'm going to draw in this window. Corner to corner. Two corners. Make a rectangle, right? Click on it and there's my surface. I'll show you a little quick trick. If you click on this little arrow in perspective, and change the view to ghosted. Now you see it ghosted right here, right? It's no longer translucent. And do you see now the difference between a, a, um, a curve, a curve and a surface, right? Makes sense, right? Okay. So what's my third element? A solid. A solid is just going to have a third dimension. It's going to have a, a thickness to it. So I'm going to click solid and let's make a box. I'm going to pick two corners and give it a height. Corner. Okay. And then it prompts you right here. Other corner of base or length. It's telling you where's where do you want your other corner to be? Oh, I want it to be somewhere around here. It says fine. Now height, what do you want your height to be? And then I just pull it up or I can enter a number here and it gives it that exact dimension. And there's my height. Okay. So I have my curve, my surface, and my solid. Okay. Then there's other things. Mesh, you're really not going to use that so much. There's dimension. Um, dimension tells you how long something is. You're really not going to use that. Um, we'll leave that for AutoCAD. Okay, we'll use that in AutoCAD. Um, then there's transform. Uh, transform, like things like copy and align and, and move. Uh, you manipulate the work that way, but um, you can also use other tools to move things. You can just drag them, okay? Um, then you have tools. Tools gives you your options mostly. This is where you, in the tools you use mostly the options, remember? To change, if your toolbars went away, you can come back here, say tools, restore tools, or you can also change your units. So, for example, right now, our units are in millimeters. I don't want millimeters. I want inches. Okay. I can go here and say, change it to inches, please. Um, where are my 
changes about right here. Okay. And I'm going to change the, my display to feet and inches. I don't want decimal. So one foot, one and one eighth of an inch. Say OK. And say yes, yes. I'm sure I want to change it from inches to from millimeters to inches. And there you go. There we are. OK, analyze. You really analyze the most that I would use in analyze is distance to measure a distance. OK? to measure a distance and you can um, measure a distance by just clicking corner to corner and it tells you what that distance is. That's pretty much it. Um, later on what we'll do is we'll get our snaps to work down here and that's much easier to work with. Um, render, you're really not going to reuse render and you really don't need that stuff. You can use help and you can go to help topics and it'll take you to a website and it's some students find it very useful okay and you can search help topics there's videos there's little tutorials it could be helpful for you if you need it all right um, let's see here bear with me for a second Okay, also on the side over here, you have what's called the panel, okay? Um, the panels right now, what I have showing is my um, object properties. It's a visual display of my object properties. What does that mean, object properties? That means if I click on this guy, see, what the moment I clicked on my cube here, that I made, it shows me the properties of that cube. What layer it is, maybe how big it is, and all its attributes. And also, my panel has layers. Okay, Layers are here. Right now, I drew this under a layer called default. We'll learn how to use layers later. We can give them different colors. Maybe I'll make my windows one color, and I'll make my walls another color. So I can turn off the walls and keep the windows on as I'm working, if I'm only working on the windows. It helps isolate information so that you don't have a lot of information on top of each other. That's what the layers are for. We'll explore them a little bit later. Um, so down here on the, on the bottom, I want to be able to if, go ahead and click on O snap. O snap is object snap. That means you can select items from their corners or from their intersections. The moment I clicked on O snap, object snap, now I have this whole menu on the bottom, which I really like having. That means you can grab something exactly from that point. So I'm going to click end point. I'm going to highlight that. Now it has a check mark. And remember when we did an analyze distance earlier? Let me do that again. Analyze distance. Okay. Now, because I checked the endpoint under object snap, I can measure from the exact endpoint to the exact endpoint. Quarter of an inch. Okay. If you press enter on your keyboard, it'll give you the last command. And again, I want to measure, measure the other dimension of my cube, half an inch. Perfect. OK. Um, what if you want something? So in Rhino, just like in a, in a lot of software, you can use the pull down menus, or you can enter a command, or you can use the visual graphic. For example, if I want, like I drew a, a line earlier, I went to curve and I drew a line, right? Drew a single line, remember? I can draw this line without using this up here. I can enter in the command, I can enter a line, right? And it gives me many options. I say, no, I want this one, line. And then I press enter and then I can draw that line. That's the second way I can draw something. What's the third way I can draw something? The third way I can draw something is by simply using these icons. Okay, this is the line icon. I can click on that little arrow and say, 
line. There's many types of lines, but I want this line. And see how the mouse, there's a little graphic of the mouse with the left button highlighted in black. That means you left click, then you're going to get that line. And this is the third way I can draw a line. Same thing with your surface and your solid. This is your surface, and this is your solid. Okay? You can draw them by here, or you can draw them by using that down there. Okay, I'm going to stop this video here. If I can find that thing that keeps hiding, that'd be great.